The civil society organization in Nigeria has called on President Muhammadu Buhari to submit the reviewed composition of the state of torture in the country. This is following the signing of the Anti-Torture Act in 2017 to ensure the country's participation in the upcoming review by the World Organization Against Torture in Geneva. The group made the call in a joint discussion to talk about the state of security and the effect of counter-terrorism strategies. In the absence of this report as a country, that Nigeria will still be reviewed. So, they have reached out to civil society organizations, those of us working around public safety, security um, issues, Prower and the Clean Foundation, to share with them a CSO report. So a CSO report is like a shadow report of what um, the state of torture is and if there have been progress around. And then also call on governments to also send its own report. We want these laws to be enforced, to be implemented. You don't just have laws and you don't implement it. And then once somebody is caught, or found guilty of doing this, then let the person be fully prosecuted and sanctioned. And, the, and it has to be done speedily. We, you know, we have to want to say no to impunity, because that's how it continues. If somebody is tortured and nothing happens, then there's a problem. From the reports that we are reviewing, it's, uh, it shows various what various organizations have done and the statistics clearly come from that report from but from my own position from my own organization where we stand we've had reports from pro bono lawyers who are working with us that oftentimes citizens are, are, are made to write or sign confessional statements uh, after they have been tortured. This is clearly against our own domestic laws, for instance, the ACJA and other laws. It's clearly illegal, but from reports, it shows that it still goes on in Nigeria. How many of our people do know that they are protected by the laws you know, against torture, inhuman and degrading treatment? Have they actually accepted that torture should be part of our lives so the people should know when you know your rights you are able to appropriate your rights but in ignorance you think that everything that comes to you you know should be accepted and knowing about your rights is equally standing on the rights and being able to report because without knowledge that somebody has been tortured maybe somebody that is seeking accountability may not be able to do that because you equally need somebody to stand by to say yes this is my experience. I actually went through this. You can't go prosecuting as expected by the Anti-Torture Act or punishing any officer without having evidence. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.